Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your host, Rich, from Rich TV Live and Interactive. And I'm bringing your attention today to RHCO, Readin Holdings Corp. Huge revenue growth and going to be listed on the OTCQB exchange really, really soon. Penny stock involved in e commerce, payment processing, travel, and so much more. And you're hearing about it today exclusively on Rich TV. What do you guys think about Reed and Holdings Corp? Let's take a look right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV. All right, so I want to bring your attention to Readin Holding Corp. You can see here Readin Holding Corp, RHCO, is a listed venture capital corporation with a history of over 30 years. It has a long history of engaging in the retail trade. And more recently, it is active in the fintech, online payment, and e commerce industries. RHCO has subsidiaries and liaison offices in Europe. Asia and New Zealand. You can see now currently sitting around four cents. And this is okay pay, payments made easy across all platforms. So, what is RHCO doing? RHCO is pursuing a super app strategy in Hong Kong. I'm also looking them here on OTC markets. You can see that they're currently at four cents, up 28%. And I've been doing a lot of research on this company. They got a lot of news that's been coming out here. You can see RHCO has made a strategic decision to pursue an investment strategy that takes an integrated asset approach with a focus on payments, e-commerce, and they're supporting infrastructure technologies in addition to seeking a structured balance between short-term revenue and long-term outperformance multiples. RHCO continues to find value in distressed assets. This has always been supported by its strong turnaround abilities and disposal of non-performing assets. You can see some of the latest news. Promising start of Onyx Marble trading business. This is one of their big pieces of news that just came out. And also revenue up 283% in their last financial statements. So some big news coming out for Readin Holding Corp. Now I'd love to know what you guys think about these picks. If you have any questions, please let me know. They just closed the marble transaction in Turkey and they are an emerging FinTech giant. They're also planning to uplist to the OTCQB exchange currently on the OTC Pink. Once they uplist to the OTCQB, that could be another catalyst for the stock. So this is their website. It's readinholdingcorp.com. They also have a long runway for growth in payment processing, and they just launched the Oki Travel Club. So very interested in watching how they deal with the Oki Pay and the Oki Travel Club that they just launched. So the launch of the Oki Travel Club is also in synergy with RHCO's comprehensive back-end online pay platform, Oki Pay. This is the website here for okipay.biz. Oki Travel Club will further optimize the utilization of Oki Pay, which handles all the payments of Oki App, which you're seeing right now. It accepts standard credit cards and debit cards such as Visa, MasterCard, Amex, Union Pay along with Alipay, WeChat Pay, and other mobile wallets and e-vouchers. RHCO expects to officially launch Oki App and Oki Travel Club by the end of this month. Major upgrades will be added to Oki App to facilitate the accessibility of Oki Travel Club. So when looking at these companies, it's always important to kind of take a look at the, the stock and where it's gone and where it's going. So I'm going to give you kind of an update of where it's been. It's been as high as 21 cents. That's its high high. That was actually around last year, almost to the day. And like most companies this year, it has taken 
Um, it's taken it, you know, it's taken on the chin like almost everybody else. Been as low as two cents. That would be the low low. So the high high two uh, twenty one cents. The low low at two cents, and currently sitting between three to four cents at these lower levels here. So definitely closer to the bottom than it is the top, which means there is a lot of room for upside for it to fill this gap, like most stocks in this market environment. You can see that the RSI is currently sitting right around 41. So there's a little room for it to go down, but I think there's a lot of upside here. And you can see that the MACD is kind of just, um, kind of just flatlining here, right here. So very interesting. And what we like to do here on Rich TV is when we do look at a new pick, we create a chat room for it on our website at richtv.io. So fully expect once this video goes live that we will create a chat room for reading holding corp. Okay. We'll create a chat room for reading holding corp. You'll also be able to see all the key data, key information, everything you need to know about read in holding corp at rich tv.io and then you can even go and add it to your watch list and this is the management and board richard klitsy is the ceo richard has more than 25 years of experience in business development and in operations specialist with a proven track record of building strong teams and delivering new businesses before join joining rhco he held senior business development positions at siemens and general electric in asia and then there's Iggy, who's the CTO. Iggy is a highly analytical IT professional with extensive retail and e-commerce experience. His entrepreneurial mindset allows him to adapt and evolve quickly when needed. Stress resistant, highly organized, and most at ease in fast-paced, innovative environments. He was previously a technical specialist at Texaco, Netherlands. And financial share movement, the company's most recent financial report occurred in its Q3 2022 quarter with the period ending March 31st. The company's assets are separated into two. The current asset represents 2.6 million with 37,000 in cash and 1.5 million in interest receivable. On its other assets, Reed and Holdings has 25 million, wow, 12.2 million in goodwill, 8 million in loan receivables, Total assets represent 28 million. On the liability side, the company has 7 million worth with 4 million in accounts payable. The company strongly increased its revenues year over year. It's augmented by 161% and saw a 634% increase quarter over quarter. Quarter ending December, Reed and Holdings reports an income of 66,000. If this data seems meager, many emerging are often operating for a loss. These positive results are buoyed by the ongoing development of Oki app, RHCO's discount referral app, and the increased revenue in Re Reedy's own developed e-voucher. Other robust, robust data are Oki Pay, Oki app, and Reedy's growth. They have recorded a 700% revenue gain in January 2022 compared to December 2021. RHCO has started the year 2022 very well, and we are thrilled to announce its quarterly filing completion. We are riding on the momentum of Oki App and Reedy's, and both are performing well beyond our expectations as anticipated. We saw a profit last quarter and expect at least double digit revenue growth in quarters to come. That's from Richard Klitsy, CEO. So pretty cool here. You can see this is a company that's clearly doing a lot of different things. Love to know what you guys think. Some of the valuations, the market capitalization right now is 16.4 million. So a baby market cap enterprise value of 22 million. And the total shares outstanding are 324 million. And you can see some of the newest merchants. So this is a company that's got a lot of things going on. Love to know what you guys think. What do you think? of this company that we are bringing to you first today. I'd love to know your opinion on Readin Holdings. RHCO is the symbol. And once again, they will be listed on the OTCQB soon. So love to know what you guys think. And we will be creating a chat room for Readin Holding Corp on richtv.io. You guys have any questions, please put it in the description of the video. Symbol is RHCO. 
If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, we bring in the analysis, we bring in new opportunities, and we bring them to you first. Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. And this is Readin Holding Corp. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're live, it's your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And I'm out. Peace.